Good afternoon. I'm just going to go over this one verse real quick. Because I think now more than ever, it's time to wake up and realize where we're at and what's going on here. Um, man, man, I see so many people and people who think they're going the right way and they're not. And, I, you know, I can't judge them, but, you know, based on the, their own words, condemn them, right, in a way. You know, um, and I'm not saying, like, I don't act like a complete idiot once in a while, right? Lose my uh, discipline every now and then, let my flesh rise up. But, uh, you know, um, it's time to wake up. So I'm going to go over this one verse and I'll let you figure out who it's talking about. This is found in Revelation 13.3. It's about this beast, right, that had all these heads. I forget how many, but had these heads, basically these rulers. Okay, and it's rulers of the world is what it is because the entire world is the system of the beast. It was, it's, it's been given to Satan to rule over for a time. So understand that to deceive to deceive all of us and uh so the verse is this and i saw one of his heads as it were wounded to death and his deadly wound was healed and all the world wondered after the beast so let's look a little closer at some of these words because like jesus said if you love me you will abide in my word daily you will take a, a, a deeper um i forget how he said it but what the word meant but it meant to basically humble yourself before me and allow me myself jesus christ to be your teacher Okay, the only way you can understand spiritual things is through the Holy Spirit. It has to reveal it to you. And that's only given to you through Christ. Jesus Christ is the only one who can break the seal Satan's put over you through your fleshly carnal nature, your mind, the nature, this bestial animalistic nature of mankind, right? And Christ is, and that's how his covering, Satan's covering, is that's his throne, is your flesh. This covering of flesh is Satan's throne. That's how he rules you, okay? And only Christ can break through it, and then he seals you with his Holy Spirit as his own, right? And then he's the one that teaches you and reveals the deeper meaning of his word. So there's that. So let's look at some of these words, this word head, as I saw one of his heads. I saw one of his leaders who's been given authority in this world, who took influence over the minds of many. So one, this one leader took, uh, had great influence over the minds of many people. As it were wounded, though, and I saw one of his heads as it were wounded. That's 4969. So this leadership was cut off. It ended. So his, his, his ability to lead ended, and he was unable to rule again. So what's that mean? Okay, so there you go. Wounded to death, and this word death is uh, 2288. Okay. Wounded, his leadership was cut off, ended in, in, to death, M meaning uh, it, it completely ended, right? His, his ability to rule. And, and then, it's, there's, see, there's another word that's identical. It's and his deadly wound, this 228. Okay, let's take a look at this, this deadly wound. This ignorance of their sins, uh, of being in complete darkness, this state of wickedness and self-serving, uh, and that can go to 2348, which means being spiritually dead. So, as it were, he was wounded to death. Basically, his rulership, his leadership ended. And his his uh, ignorance of his own sin, and because he's been overtaken by complete darkness, this state of wickedness and self-serving, uh, because they're spiritually dead, Okay, because this goes to 23, uh, origin of this word is 2348, 2288, that goes to 2348. So they're completely overtaken by the darkness of the ignorance of their own sins in their own world being completely self-serving and they are spiritually dead. Okay, or this person in general and most likely all who he's influenced, right, led astray. Okay, uh, and his deadly wound now, this word is a different word than the first one. The first one was, this wounded was 4969. The second one is 4127. Okay, and his deadly wound, but his public, this public calamity, like it's a public com calamity. Like when his rulership ended, the whole public hated that because they loved this so much and they believed in his plan. So all who cried out for him to rule again and to return, those who put their trust in him, okay, in his plan to mold a new world, okay, basically by smiting and wounding others, 
with evil and by doing evil to them, basically by doing all kinds of acts of evil, like in most of its accusations and slander and maybe putting them in prison and, and accusing them of all different kinds of things. And what are, what are we seeing in the political spectrum? All these accusations, right? Anyways, so his deadly wound was healed. Now, this word healed here is 23, 20 through. His authority to rule, when you take a deeper look at it and you're led by a spirit, and I'm no better than you, right? I'm just... But I know I hear God's voice. I have no doubt. I hear him. And that's our... <laughs> Jesus Christ is the only one who can conquer Satan. Okay? And if you're not indwelt by his Holy Spirit, Satan can take you at his will and use you. Right? He can speak through you. He can act through you. He can do all kinds of things. And that is a fact. How many people are in prison because of that and they don't even know what they did? And it was... They were demonically possessed, influenced, and did something and they don't even remember doing it. Right? And some are like just given over to it and they know what they did because they joined themselves to it but anyways so anyways wound was healed this is 23 23 the word healed his authority to rule was restored by deception in a deceptive way okay by and this goes to 23 24 by people who believed in his plan to burn the whole system down <laughs> basically by causing an upheaval a rise in evil act acts and violence by a rise in evil acts and violence and creating chaos and division and creating chaos and division between people. Okay, that's his plan. Satan's plan, divide and conquer right from the beginning, right? And all the world wondered after the beast. So all the world, so all the people of the earth who are opposed to all that is divine and from above, all that is good and right, See, because these people are in complete darkness because they're spiritually dead, their state of wickedness of being spiritually dead, okay, who loved this man and were following him and wanted him to return and rule, but his rule ended, he could not. That's the wound to death, right? They wondered after this beast, after the beast, okay? Um, let's look at this word, wondered, okay? It is uh, 2296. They wondered after the beast. Okay, they admired his plans and they followed him as if he were God, believing his plans, 2295, believing his plans to be wonderful and great by seeing them working, by seeing these plans actually working. Like, and look what's been instituted, right? What they're trying to push on us, all these new things where they can just spy on anybody and, and even these red flag laws, which are horrific, like totally unconstitutional. Basically, anybody who has an argument or a strife, boyfriend, girlfriend, wives, husband, or even friends that have a fight about something, anybody can call up and say, hey, this person's dangerous, they're mentally unstable, or blah, 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 or they have access to X, Y, and Z, you know whatever, and then, you know, a warrant will be issued for your arrest, or you'll be held against your will and taken to a mental institution for a while. I mean, all kinds of things can happen, okay? And, and believe me, I'm well aware of that, well aware, and uh, I was made aware in a bad way of that. I'll just put it that way. Um, yeah, it was pretty pretty horrible. And, and without even hearing the other person's side of the story, without anything, all someone has to do is make an accusation, okay, that's completely unconstitutional. And they'll actually make a warrant for your arrest on the basis of someone's, it's, it's totally, yeah, I ain't even going to get into it because it's too personal about that. But anyways, so Anyways, they believed his plans to be wonderful and great because they're seeing them work. Now, this word beast, after the beast, so they wondered after the beast, okay? This word uh, beast, it's this, it's 2342, yeah, is that right? 2342, this wild, brutal, bestial man who is savage and ferocious and venomous, basically spewing poison, spewing lies, words of deceit, and all those who believe his lies and poison, the, the, who are deceived by believing them, them. So it's all who are joined to him, like many and one, right? Pluribusum. Many and one who are joining this man in what he's doing and trying to fulfill his plans. And then, in, uh, and that goes to 2339, which is part of the origin of this word, 2342. He's preparing destruction. So they're preparing destruction for all mankind by this trap by this trap that is being used for hunting animals, right? Basically, 
what, sheep being led to the slaughter? Christ's sheep, maybe, perhaps. But, uh, yeah, and if you, actually I know, and if you haven't seen it, but there's been people who've crossed the border. They're getting paid like two grand a month, right? And and some of them have come out and whistleblowed. They're being paid. I'm not sure how the money's getting there or by who. Probably just through the government, our government, our tax dollars, right, most likely. And anyways, they're being paid to riot and cause chaos in different places. They're being paid to do it. And they're flooding in this country by the millions, right? And I'm not saying they're all bad. I'm sure there's some genuine people in there. But the majority, I'm thinking not so much. I'm thinking not so much, right? Uh, you know, this is all planned. No doubt about it. So anyways, remember what Jesus Christ said. I beheld Satan falling as lightning from the heavens. And if you look up what those words actually mean. And in the, I, I think it's the Hebrew. Is it the Hebrew or Aramaic? Might be Aramaic because he spoke in Aramaic, I, I think. Yeah. But anyways, look up what those words mean. Um, and I'm, you know, it's is it possible? Yeah. So how can this this guy, this leader, whose rule ended, came back, to and he has no chance to rule again because it ended, but he came back. His authority was restored by deception in a deceptive way. Okay. I'm just gonna say that. Think about it. I mean, make up your own mind, right? But uh, it's just something, you know, it's time short, time short. You need to make up your mind where your trust and faith is. Is it, is it, is it in your religion? Is it in the group you belong to? Is it in, is it in the particular denomination you belong to? Is it, is it in someone else other than Jesus Christ? Anyone else? Can anyone else save you? Anyone, anyone. The Bible's very clear. Do not repeat these vain repetitions as the heathen do. Okay? There's so many things. Call no man on earth your father. You only have one who is in heaven. You know, there's there's so many things. So many, so many things. I just wish people could wake up. You, you, the true church of Christ are all the spirit-filled, God's holy spirit-filled believers who hear his voice and follow him, obey him. What he's telling you to do or not to do, say or not to say, go or where not to go, all this, he directs your path daily. And our flesh is at war against our spirit. Our flesh must be crucified daily. Understand it. Our flesh is the image of the beast. Understand it. We've been taught wrong. <laughs> wrong. We've been taught wrong, okay? Now, was everything created by God for his purpose? Sure. Yep. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. But when you start to look at all the words and take a deeper study, like Chris said, uh, you know, if you love me, you abide in my word daily. Humble yourself before him. Allow him to be your teacher. And through the gift of his Holy Spirit, you got to let go of all the presuppositions you've been taught by mankind. Right, because they're only seeing things from an external way. It's a it's a spiritual thing. It's a spiritual battle. Must be born again from above of the spirit, from the spirit of God. Of the spirit of God has to indwell you, and then you can hear His voice. It's literal. There's no going back from that. Once you hear God's voice, it, it strengthens your faith. Hearing comes, faith comes by hearing, and hearing the word of God. That means hearing Him speak hearing his voice. It's it's very literal. It's more literal than people think, and they think you're crazy. You're not crazy, and he's never going to tell you to hurt someone. He's not going to, although I do believe in self-defense. You have the right to protect yourself and protect your family, or protect your loved ones, or even protect a random stranger on the street if they're being attacked or abused in a certain way. You have that right, okay? But, uh, but we're always supposed to try to make peace. Always, 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 always. Um, so there's that. So I'll just leave that verse there for you to decide who's who that's actually speaking about. And uh, if you understand it, it's it's the bestial animalistic man. You know that the image of the beast is your flesh that has to be crucified, has to be put down. You have to, you can't listen to him that speaks to you all day long. It's your carnal, physical nature of your flesh, which is how Satan rules over you. You have to break that tie, and it can only be broken by Jesus Christ. He's the only one worthy to break that seal. Satan's put over you through your flesh. No doubt about it. Please, it's time to wake up because. Uh,
you know, I know there's no doubt and you can see it all around us time short and everybody who's putting their hope and trust in anyone or anything else other than Jesus Christ you're, you're misled you're misled because once he reveals himself to you once you meet him once you meet with him and you hear his voice and he knows you and you know him there's you you you, you can't go back you can't ref, you there it's impossible. I will die on this fact. <laughs> you know, in de I'm not just saying, those aren't just words. <laughs> That's the truth. Once once the truth is revealed to you, you can't, you can't go back into man's religious systems. You can't. Because it's set up by men and they, they because there are great numbers of followers and the length of their teaching. The wrong thing. And I've seen that in his word multiple times. They're deceived, just like the Sadducees and Pharisees, man. They knew those scriptures, but they were completely deceived. They're only thinking about the external. Got to break free from that. Got to break free from what, what affects you, affects your senses, your fleshly bodies. You have to break free from that. I know. But, you know, we got to take care of yourself and take care of others and love the time we have and cherish the moments you have here that are beautiful and everything else. But it's not your home. It's not. Okay? So make up your mind. you got to choose, and you should be choosing today. Choose wisely. There you go. Who are you going to serve? Man or God? You're going to try to save yourselves? Oh, all these people I hear I'm talking about, med beds and all this stuff, and a great new thing where mankind is going to live. If your hope is in the flesh or in mankind or anything of this world, it's misplaced. It's misplaced. Big time. All right, there's that. There's that. All right, God bless you and love and respect everybody. Plant a good seed, right? Be kind and be good and do whatever you can for anybody who needs some help, right? In any way that you can. But the most important thing is giving the, a, a gift, this treasure from heaven, this heavenly knowledge in, in the best way that you can. Everybody, Everybody's given gifts. Use them, whatever they are. Talents, abilities, speech, empathy, just the ear to listen, whatever. All right, God bless you and have a great day. Bye.